Hey, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and today we're going hunting. We're hunting for the biggest myth around when it comes to CDL. That myth is, do I need a CDL license if I'm driving a vehicle with air brakes? The answer is no. That's right. Sorry to bust your bubble. But when it comes to having air brakes or not having air brakes in the vehicle, it has nothing to do whether it's a CDL or not. The only thing that classifies something as a CDL vehicle is the weight. So if the weight is more than 26,000 pounds, then you're required to have a CDL license. If the weight is less than 26,000 pounds or 26,000 pounds, then you're not required to have a CDL license, whether it has air brakes or no air brakes. Now, that being said, most vehicles that are CDL have air brakes, right? But there are some things like box trucks around that are less than 26,000 pounds and they do still have air brakes, but you are not required to actually have a CDL license to get them. You don't need any kind of endorsement. You don't need anything because it's a normal class D uh, license that you're gonna need to be required for that, right? That being said, let's talk about the two most common brake systems that there is. You're gonna have what they call air brakes and that's when actual air goes through the brake lines to actually produce the power to stop, uh, to engage the brakes, to stop the whole vehicle. And then you're gonna have hydraulic brakes. Hydraulic brakes is what most cars are made with, and that's where and through the brake hoses, oil is going through, and the oil pressure itself is actually gonna engage the brakes to actually stop the vehicle from going. Now, which one is stronger? So, if I was to ask you a simple question, which one do you think is stronger, oil, or air so the answer is going to be air let's talk about why you measure pressure between oil and air with three letters it's called psi psi stands for pounds per square inch which simply means if we were to draw a square here now this square say is one square inch which means it's an inch by an inch by an inch by an inch so once and now you have to picture this square in your mind and now I want you to think about it. If we were to pump oil into this square, how much oil can we fit inside that little square? And we are to keep pumping, keep pumping oil into that. Now let's take air. If we were to compress air into that little square that we just created, you can compress a whole lot more air into that little tiny space, correct? And that's what makes air more powerful. Now the only thing oil has over air is oil is more precise. And that's why you see oil being used in those big construction equipment machines like this because with that one you're gonna need more precision. It still has power, but it's not as powerful as air pressure is itself. So the reason why most tractor trailers or most CDL vehicles have air brakes is because it moves quickly, it has a quick reaction time, and it actually has full of power. It's extremely powerful when you compress air in a short amount of space. And that's pretty much why Trucks use air because they have 80,000 pounds that they have to carry and cars use oil which means they got a lot less pounds which means they don't need that much pressure going up into the actual brakes components of the vehicle itself. So the myth that we busted today is not all CDL vehicles are required to have air brakes, right? And I, and I taught you a little bit different between air and hydraulic brakes. If you wanna know more about getting yourself a CDL license, I'm gonna tell you what to do next. What you're gonna have to do is give us a call, 908-525-3609, or if you're watching this at some crazy hour of the night, you're definitely gonna to wanna to click on the link below, or just visit our website, cdldrivingacademy.com. Again, that's cdldrivingacademy.com. We're here to help you get on your road to freedom with a CDL license. So if you want to get rocking and rolling, you definitely wanna make sure that you give us a call. Our team members are here to help you. Thanks, have a great day.